I've just made the Lockcat Entry event compatible with Shizuku. So now, if you have this running, which it is, and you create a new Lockcat Entry event in Tasker, you can now use it and you uh, make it work seamlessly just like before. Just like before Android uh, added some restrictions in Android 13 where uh, the Lockcat can't be, uh, wouldn't be able to be used anymore like before. So now let's do a small test. For example, let's say I wanted to do something when I long click this button here, this square button at the bottom. So I just um, set up the lock and entry event like you saw. Then I start logging here. Then I lock, long click the square button. Then I stop logging and it shows all the logs. So in this case, let's look for something like long, okay? Here it is, the stats log component created this log with the text launcher taskbar overview button long press. So now I have this event and let's say I want to use this button to open my favorite app. Maybe, so in this case I can use the launch app action and maybe I really, really like the calculator app. So I want to have it always available when I long press this button. So as easy as that, I apply it. And now if I long press this, the calculator app is open instantly. So it's as easy as this to capture uh, any lockcat event and then use any action in Tasker. I have two other uh, small examples here. For example, I have a kill app on long back, which is very similar. Instead of the right button, I'm using the left button now. And in the app, I simply get the app info and I create a notification and then I kill the app also using Shizuku. And then let's try this out. For example, if I open the calculator app with this button and then I'll long press the back button, creates the notification and the notification and the app is killed cool and I have another example here which is when any app is updated on Google Play I, I, I check that this log was created on package update finished and then after that the package name of the app is 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 shown on the log as well so I use this simple match to get the app package name then I get the AMP info for that app package and notify that the app was updated. So if I open up the Play Store here, I can see that I have some updates available. And now if I update WhatsApp, for example, I should get a notification telling me that it's updated. This way you can keep track of all your, of all your uh, updates that normally happen in the background and Google Play doesn't tell you about them. Now you can know when each one happens and keep notifications for each one. So the update is, is finished, the flash comes up, and then I have a notification saying updated WhatsApp. Cool. So these are just three examples, but the Lockcat contains basically anything that happens in Android on your device. So now you can get, you can like monitor anything you want on your device and do and create tasks with them. If you want, check out the video in the video description that shows the original uh, version where this was implemented, but has since stopped working correctly because Google updated Android, but now with Shizuku, you can get it working again. So this is the Lockcat Entry event revived with Shizuku. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.